Today was released the first part of the last season of Stranger Things, and with it was revealed one of the most important mysteries, the origin of Eleven's powers, as well as the goal of the villain. In this video we will be talking about the end of the first part of Stranger Things, and how Eleven will have to defeat number one, once and for all. And if you want to subscribe to this channel, I will be uploading videos about the universe of Stranger Things every day. From theories and news of what we will see in the final part. You are in Stranger Things Geeks. There are many things to talk about, but without a doubt the most shocking surprise of this season, was the origin story of number one. The first child with superhuman abilities. For a long time Dr. Brenner had been looking for ways to create weapons with people's abilities, such was the case of Eleven's mother, who was subjected to experiments while she was pregnant. But in this new season something unexpected was revealed. The first child to have supernatural abilities was the one nicknamed, number one. The first child that Brenner experimented on, but could not control for long. Number one had wiped out his family, and his father had ended up in prison accused of crimes he had not committed. However, Brenner saw in him a lot of potential and created a project to replicate the powers of this child and other people. The project was a success, being able to replicate the same powers in more than a dozen people. However, one manipulated Eleven to remove an artifact that he had in his neck, and that kept him under control for a long time. Which causes number one to finish with almost all the experiment subjects of the laboratory. Surprisingly Eleven manages to confront number one, and did something that number one would never expect. Eleven opened a portal and condemned number one to live in exile in another dimension. In another video we will debate what this dimension really is and if it was created by Eleven. The important thing is that number one was trapped in it, and is looking for a way to escape. The only person who can prevent number one from returning to the world is Eleven. Dr. Brenner has been training Eleven for a long time and working on a secret project to prepare against number one. Although number one could be said to be a failed experiment of Dr. Brenner, he did not create it. We could say that Brenner kept number one under control until he managed to create a weapon to stop him. Eleven is the weapon that was created to stop him. This positions Dr. Brenner as a hero, or at least on the right side, because he has worked tirelessly to protect the planet from his former protege. Now, this means that in the next chapters we will see a direct confrontation between Eleven and Number One. Number One is trying in every way to return to the real world and Eleven will try to destroy him or close the portal forever. The most interesting thing about all this, is that we always thought that Eleven was the one to blame for opening the portal to the upside down, and that Brenner was a villain who experimented with people for his benefit. But it is possible that Brenner only wanted to save the world, and that this portal to another place was the only solution that Eleven had to stop his old friend. Without a doubt this twist in the story was one that we didn't expect and that begins to make sense of everything that is the upside down in the experiments in Hawkins, but we will talk more in depth in a future video. In the meantime tell me what you think, were you surprised by the origin of the Stranger Things villain? In the next video we will be talking about the origin of the upside down and how they will prepare for the war against number one. If you like this video do not forget to subscribe, you are in Stranger Things Geeks.